On other news, uh, Judy Brewer, her work for the uh, COG UK consortium, so this is around sequencing of uh, the coronaviruses. It's been so important in providing uh, information about the pandemic and its progress to inform government policy. This was recently profiled in a, a blog uh, entitled Women in COG blog, where Judy was described as the queen of virology I'm not sure how Judy, Judy feels about that, but how I feel about it is that we're very proud indeed to have Judy as part of our community and to see how her enormous contributions to uh, this science has been highlighted in this way. Now, we've had a number of important grant successes in the past month. Uh, first of all, Claire Thorne and Pia Hardlid were successful in an application to the Horizon Europe Consortium grant to study uh, SARS-CoV-2 variants of concern, pregnant women and children. And the grant includes 22 global partners uh, with a total budget of 10 million euros. Secondly, Nick Green has been awarded a programme grant by the MRC to study the glycine cleavage system uh, in brain development, function and disease. And this grant has evolved from some very important discoveries which uh, Nick uh, and his colleagues made at ICH some years ago. And it's great to see the development of his research along a pathway of important translational impact. In other news, as you know, we have two co-deputy co directors of education, Angie Wade and Helen Bedford. Angie has decided to step down as co-deputy director of education at the end of this month as she's planning to retire at the end of this uh, calendar year. So I really want to um, say how grateful I am to Angie for all of her years and years of contribution to ICH, not just in education, but also in research. Um, but in this role, she's brought her skills as a very talented teacher. She's got an infectious enthusiasm for her subject uh, and has been very committed to the development of our education strategy. And in addition, over the last three months, she's worked tirelessly to deliver our teaching in a virtual format, which had to happen initially in March last year, almost overnight. And that's been extremely successful and led to our fantastic results from the recent um, PTES uh, survey. Helen Bedford, who has shared this role with Angie and to whom we also owe uh, an enormous thank you, she's going to continue as co-deputy director for education and her new partner in crime is going to be Jane Simmons. Uh, so Jane may be new to this role, but she's very well known in her teaching positions at GOSH ICH, most recently as postgraduate tutor taught. And I'm looking forward um, to uh, working with her more closely. Um, other news is that um, Rick Livesey uh, is moving on from uh, our institute to take up a, an exciting opportunity in industry, although he's going to retain uh, some commitment to GOSH ICH. But one of the many leadership roles which Rick has held is as Deputy Director of Developmental Biology and Cancer. And we've uh, successfully recruited a new Deputy Director, and that is going to be Nick Green. Uh, and he will take up a uh, post from August. So my very last word to you is that it's been, as I've said before, a very difficult year. I hope you're able to get a very well-earned break over the summer, and we look forward to seeing you back again in September. Have a good summer. <laughs>